Oh. Hello. Whoa. Finally, another monster. Are you lost as well? Seems to be happening more and more. Jane is the name. I'm on a case, you see. A few days ago, a resident went missing in these woods. Not the first time, either. Throughout history, a few strange stories have popped up. Doors appearing out of nowhere, impossible geography, monsters straying from a set path and losing their sense of direction. Wild stuff. I'm a type that needs hard evidence to believe any something, but that doesn't mean it didn't pique my curiosity. So when I heard about this missing monster, I had to investigate. It wasn't a few minutes before my compass stopped working and, well, I became a believer. <laughs> What to do, what to do. There's gotta be something or someone behind all this, no? Even though Monster Kind has lived in the underground for decades, there's still so much mystery to it all. Hmm. I know what you're thinking, and it was my first hypothesis as well. It's just magic, right? The underground is full of this stuff. Well, obviously it's gotta be. But I don't know. Some of these sightings seem intentional. I've gotta solve this as soon as I'm out of these woods. Don't worry about sticking around if you got places to be. I'll be fine. So I have plenty of snacks in my bag. When it's time to go, I'll just start walking in one direction. Help me make my way out. Easy peasy. I really want to find who I'm looking for first, though. Sorry, I'm mulling over the case. Deep in thought. Yep. Not losing it. Not yet. Interesting. That doesn't make sense. Alright, secret time. The one thing I missed for the stupid fight. Going in a straight line. How quaint. Several micro frogs are enjoying themselves with their very own house friend. One of them even robbed micro floaties. Another sips sits micro coffee then waves at you. Looks like the honeydew resort thought of everyone. You watch as one micro frog it swims back and forth. It's swimming at an incredible speed of 140,000 centimeters per hour. Micro frogs would like some privacy now. Beautiful, delicious looking golden coffee catches your eye. Take it. Halves the weight of your soul, giving you a speed booster for returns. Half delicious beverage, half transition metal. Just smells like coffee though. Yeah, that's the one thing I missed. Which, now that door makes sense. <laughs> I was like, why is that door like that? So yeah, now I can actually do the secret fight. Now I know that that exists. Oh, you missed, that's not fair. He could have had this great attack in Zoom! Just goes right by without even leaving a mark. Tell you what, I'll give you a chance to try again. Take your best shot. But that was so close. One more try. Take your time with aiming this one. I'm in no rush. Uh, you don't mind if I take my turn, right? I mean, I want you to, you to get hit to hit me. I really do. But I think this is starting to break protocol, and whoa. I'm on thin ice as it is with that, you know? Okay, one more shot, but make it count. Alright, intruder. Okay, I don't think it's different.
come out and get aggressive. There you go, just like that. Okay, what is going on? I mean, don't get me wrong, being attacked hurts. And you had a good thing going there with, not, with the not hurting me thing, but I just can't follow your logic. Like, did I have a bad first impression with you? Did I mess something up? Did I say something wrong here? If I did, I'm sorry, but violence really isn't the answer to your problems, you know? It's important to be able to talk through our issues with words. Don't call in the cavalry for the small stuff. Wait, wait, before you hit me again, or don't hit me again, Actually, what are you trying to do here? Never mind that, answers to serious questions are above my pay grade. The other guards said no interrogating or getting emotionally invested. I think I know what that means, maybe. Either way, you seem like a good kid. Well, some of the time at least. Some of the time is good enough for me. Oh, I have a great idea. What if I help you get through Snowden before you become an adorable popsicle? And along the way, I can teach you to be a better citizen of the underground. It'll be fun. It happens in movies all the time. Grumpy little human hunters and, and two or three montages later. Ta-da! Okay, I'll be right back. I need to go figure out how to make a montage. The Royal Guard doesn't know you're here. They won't know I broke protocol. literally shot you once and you act like I'm a terrible person. And you asked for it. Okay, not shooting me. You asked me to be mean. But I think shooting you is pretty mean. You literally asked for it and you act like, oh, I'm weird. No. That's fair, I guess. I mean, I put all this work in the finishing. Yeah. She doesn't get the sale through. I can at least give her company a while. Until I find a better place for it. Plus, another sorry isn't gonna cut it. Can you trust me to get you the Asware? Maybe it wasn't really as bad as you think it was. It's one of those bad in the moment but a good laugh later things. Let's keep going, maybe you change your mind. Question two. On a scale from one to two, how would you rate the puzzles one? Oh yeah, I was gonna like complain about that or something. They don't really um, acknowledge my request for materials anymore. I wanted the molten rocks to be way bigger. It's a shame. How am I supposed to make a quality puzzle without materials? I mean, the concepts are good at least, right? You know, let's just move on. Question three. On a scale from one to four, how do you rate the uh, auditory ambient? What does this mean? Alright, it's time for some gaming here. Something happened somewhere. The music restarts. Blitz. Alright, time for something actually new. I'm going the wrong way. Robot just disappears. Uh, Where'd you uh, go? It's like I blinked and uh, lost uh, you. Well, uh, don't do it again. 
Interesting. Beautiful flower made of solid gold. It's stuck to the pedestal. Well, we have the magical items. Doesn't matter what's where. It does not matter what is where. Big croak. Your head is spinning. Macro frog it. Frog, frog, check. That called the pass called Big Frog. Macro croak. Yeah, I know nothing about this fight other than it exists. Uh. Frog, frog. Rip it, rip it. Mother of three records? Um... Oh, I'm getting destroyed. Giant frog noises. You know, I probably should have done this on neutral, huh? Ribbit? That's a belter mob. Macro Kira, what? So I gotta like touch five frogs. Is that what's going on here? And not get destroyed, hopefully. I am sucks, right? Right. So try not to do it again. I'm definitely gonna do it again. Yeah, I'll probably need to like go back and like actually get decent items. And not whatever garbage I have right now. Frog? His greenness. Wobble wobble. Big croak smiley face. Just got destroyed. I didn't offer my help just to see you die. Let's get moving. Shut up, Fly.
macro ellipses. <laughs> what is this? Attack is so cheap. Stomps around shaking the whole room. Sure. Yep. Uh huh. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's totally not absolute garbage. I don't even know what he said because I skipped it because it was different dialogue even though the last one was a repeat. How does that make sense? Something, something has gore. This is like actually annoying me. Because you die in literally four heads. Attack on the whole fight by far. Whatever, dude. Actually, no, this one's just bad. I hate this one. I can't even kill the micro frog yet.
Yeah, wow, great! I might as well just kill myself! Nah, just f*** it. F*** it, right? What's even the point? If I get hit on the first attack, what is the point? Because the third one's just gonna destroy me! This is alright! Are you kidding me? Zero! Of course it does! I didn't even kick you! Might as well just attack out of anger. Extra weight! I have a thing that'll heal me if I hit you! It's actually good if I shoot you!
actually stupid. I can't think of a single reason to actually disable that other than to piss people off. single time. Why can't I just start after that? Why do I have to sit through this stupid cutscene every time? I'm getting way too mad at this. Like, I wanna have fun with this, but when you start taking away features for literally no reason, yeah, I have to go mental. Why can't I heal from a gunshot? I don't care if it doesn't hurt him, that's still stupid. Should have healed. Yeah, that was totally avoidable. Yep, that was totally avoidable. I mean, this attack is literally just impossible to no hit. It just is. You can't tell me otherwise. And this one's just complete RNG. Kidding me? Why is the EA launcher open? I don't even use it. Yeah, 
I'm dead. God dead. I love when eight programs open at once. I'm just left my keyboard. Don't die. You literally get hit if you're just in the middle. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. even try. If I get a quote-unquote good attempt, it's just gonna be at the same spot I'm attempting to. Might as well just heal. Might as well. Since I know I'm dead anyway. Yeah. That still hit me. Of course it did, right? Of course. Why wouldn't it hit me? What is it? Yeah, I'm just gonna die in this attack, like, every time! Oh wow, I gotta get that one. So I gotta just purposely hit and get hit. Ribbit, what the hell is this? Worried a ribbit. Oh, God. Mega Croak. No. No. Ugh. 
to the final frog. What? Collection time! Clover, are you okay? Did he faint or something? Hey, we can take a break soon, alright? That was strange. Open the mysterious chest as an epic melody slowly crescendos in your head. You found a golden banana. Or bandana. Banana. Armor 12. Most stunning piece of fabric you've ever seen. With a shimmer, you tie the golden bandana around your neck. You feel like you can take on anything now. It's full of epic emptiness. Did the bite pissed me off? Ugh. I did not mentally prepare for that. Ugh. Okay. Well, that's that. Now I'm gonna do an epic cut to like, you know, where it's actually different. Who would it go? <sighs> Can't believe this, but I missed the best part of the entire game. I'm so sad I missed out on this. Okay, anyway, on to like actually getting a different ending. L. Get absolutely destroyed, nerd. Big sad. I bet. Thank you. Fujin, sorry to keep you waiting, but I'm here now. Uh. Saroba. Where is Saroba? Clover? Clover, where did she go? I'm sorry. Sorry. No. You didn't. You couldn't. She just ran away. She ran to the lab, right? But where am I? Clover, are you... I'm so sorry. We should have been here to help. Help. No one wanted it to end this way, but... But what? What the hell did Saroba do to deserve this? I didn't say she deserved anything, but come on. Look what she did to us, and more importantly, what she was planning to do to Clover and Kanaku. She was clearly- she was lost. In her mind, there was no other choice. All one anyone ever sees is what they want to see. They never stopped to consider the why. Maybe to you, she was only some violent threat, but beneath the crisis I saw her for who she truly was. A passionate, hardworking mother who lost everything. 
hopes, her dreams. I knew her. I knew her more than anyone. She could have been talked down, forgiven even. But she wasn't given the chance. We tried for a long time. We wanted peace. You saw it. Even when things escalated, we attempted the flee. But she wanted us dead. Going as far as hard to back Clover into a corner, forcing them to... You're a lawman, right? I'm sorry, but... Under these circumstances, Clover was just. I don't know what just means anymore. What's right, what's wrong, who cares? All I know is that I... I lost my best threat friend tonight. And the winds... It blew the dust away. Like she didn't even matter. To the law, maybe you are justified in what you've done. But to me, you're lower than dirt. I could report your location, or try to get revenge, but I know that would only spell more trouble for me. All I can do now is ask myself why. Why did I hesitate to fire that last bullet? I'm sorry I had to go through all this. Maybe if we took a different round waterfall, made different choices, we wouldn't have been put in this situation. This spiraled way out of control, but there's no change in it now. One thing I'll have to do is get you home. You deserve it. Let's go to the castle. Welp? So Starla just hates me now. This way! I think the throne room is the other way. Let's go back. So this is the castle. Never been inside before. Nerve-wracking stuff. For once, I'm at a loss for words. This is it, Clover. A few more steps and you're free. Let's keep going, Clover. Maybe we shouldn't be in this room. Wait, before we enter, I just want to say thanks for uh, for putting up with me. I guess, in the big picture of my life, you're only going to be a blip. But oftentimes, those blips make the biggest impacts, you know? Oh, what am I saying? I'll see you again once once I kind of free, remember? Wherever you are when that time comes, I will search you out, guaranteed. Well, guess it's time. Just follow my lead. I'm actually scared of what's gonna happen here. Dum de dum. Um, excuse me, King? Oh, a visitor at this hour? The oh, hello, Mr. King, sir. There's not to be no need to be so formal. You can just call me Asgore if you like. Right. Asgore, King, sir. I am Martlet of the Royal Guard Snowden Division. Ah, yes, one of our courageous guards. Thank you for your service to the Underground. 
Yeah. Or brings into the castle, so like, well... This human brings me to the castle. Their name is Clover. Clover. What a lovely name. I apologize for the lack of notice. I know this may be a shock, but... Were you by chance not given a rule guard handbook? Handbook? Sure, I was given a handbook. Not sure I'm following. Ah. Hmm. So you are familiar with the protocol, yet here you are. I know how it looks. But you see, Clover's not a bad person. In fact, they are one of the kindest souls around. So many have attacked them with ill intent, but Clover is peaceful. As much as one can be in such situations. What I'm trying to say is, Clover believes in what's best for others, even monsters, and they need to go home, back to the surface. Back to the surface. If only such a thing were so easy. But you of all monsters must know the reality. Clover's different. This is different. No. Regrettably, the one thing these encounters never are is different. Not in the end. But what are you saying? You aren't gonna kill Clover, are you? If that is the result of our battle, it must be. No! You can't do that. Clover, plead your case. Come on. What are you doing? Say something. Clover? You're... You can't. The human has spoken. I am sorry. No. This isn't how this... Let's go back. Back to Snowden. You can live with me. Like nothing ever happens. I... I... Hmm. You are a decisive one. Then you know what you must do. Please, follow me into the next room. Through this door. <sighs> this is the barrier. This is what keeps us trapped underground. I feel it is important I show you something. How tense. The feeling you are experiencing at this moment. I know it well. The world can be a cruel place. It takes and gives as it chooses. But... I suppose I have talked long enough. I will make this quick. No need to worry. I'm not bad at video games. But what is this? I mean, it's probably impossible to win, but like... Why you gotta throw attacks like that in here? Come on.
Okay, I know if it was a fair battle, I'd win, but nah. We gotta have it be unfair. Rest well, young one. I'm sorry. That's it. We're good this time. It's actually done. Yeah, that's it. Oh, there you are. Ah, I can't say I didn't see that coming. Still, my hopes were high. There's gotta be some way to get what I need. the game closed yeah funny how the one ending where we actually get to asgore why well, we just does nothing until i'm already dead anyway that's it goodbye nothing else in this game for me to do as far as i know that there really shouldn't be anything else so that's it i actually finished another series on this channel this dead channel man all right bye